I think we've all seen C and C++ code that is so bad that you can't tell what it's supposed to do. But there's actually a contest from IOCC for obfuscated code. People try to write software that doesn't do what you would expect. <laughs> so there were a couple of really interesting winners this year. I mean, one of them, the code actually looks like the moon. And if you run it, it prints out the current phase of the moon. So it's using special characters and stuff. But so it looks like ASCII art and you could actually compile it and run it and uh, tells you the phase of the moon. I like the one that looked like it was just going to show, you know, one one times one equals one, two times two equals two, and it actually prints a recipe for cooking salmon. That was pretty amazing. I, I, I stared at that for a while and could not figure it out. The organizers of the competition looked at it at first and thought they were being trolled. They thought it was just a joke until they actually ran it. And, oh, never mind. It is a recipe for salmon. <laughs> so how did it work? There were spots in there that were either couldn't see them or it looked like spaces in a string, and it was actually a bunch of Unicode characters. So it was a bunch of special characters that you know most code editors just can't show. They just ignore it. And so there was actually a lot more data embedded. But the C compiler uses it? It's in the code and it'll compile it and yes, you can include all these unprintable characters and then start pulling out bytes from them and you know, sort of turn them into ASCII. That's that's what it did. So this is feeling like a common theme these days, right? So there's this, but there's also a lot of the breaks on the LLM, right? The jailbreaks yeah. where people do stuff, they put in their message in unprintable characters and all those safeguards that are supposed to stop the LLM from telling you how to build a weapon or murder someone or anything like that. You can apparently skip right through them by using unprintable Unicode to ask the same question. Exactly, yeah. So if you ask for an image of whatever, Robert Downey Jr. or something, in ASCII, it'll say, oh, I can't do that. But all of a sudden, you ask for the same thing just in Unicode. So all the characters look the same, but it's not a straight ASCII. A lot of those safeguard things fall down. So you can kind of sneak your question in with Unicode. We have a lot more tech discussions on our channel, so subscribe.